So the question is, how do you format external hard drives for both Mac and PC so it works on both platforms interchangeably? Let's find out. All right, so if you've watched my channel before, you know I do a lot of stuff on external hard drives like all these things sitting here. And the question is, is if you have a PC and a Mac like I do, I have both systems, and I want one of these, I want to be able to plug this into a PC, copy files, and then plug it into a Mac and copy and read files, plug it back into the PC, copy and read files. What's the correct formatting? How do I need to format this external hard drive? And that's what we're going to learn today. There's basically you know, a number of different file formats. I'm going to go through those first with everyone. And those file formats are going to basically be for, some of them are specific specifically for Windows, some of them are specifically for Mac, and there's going to be one at the end which I'll show you that's going to be for both. That's the way you want to format these if you're going to use, be using them interchangeably. If you only have a Mac or you only have a PC, then you can format them accordingly. But if you have both and you're trying to you know, use the same external SSD drive on both, I'm going to show you what this is all about. So we're going to go through the file formats really quickly and then at the end I'll show you which is the correct file format to use. And let's go ahead and just get started and uh, hopefully we'll all learn something from this. Definitely post some comments if you see anything or you want to add something to it. Let's go. All right, so really quickly in this video, I'm going to show you just how to format an external drive really quickly first. And then I'm going to go through the five different file formats with the last one being the one that will work for you. Now, if you're on a Mac, I just wanted to go really quickly. You want to go to Launchpad, and you can actually go into this other folder. And in here, there's going to be Disk Utility. So when you plug in your external drive, it's going to show up over here on the left-hand side. And just basically, you click. You want to make sure you click on the right one, and then you would click Erase up here. And just make sure, though, you know, you're clicking on the right drive over here. Otherwise, you'll erase your primary drive, which would be really bad. But once you click on Erase, it's going to pull this down. And then at that point, you're going to get all the file formats you can actually select from. I'll bring this back up in a second. All right, so if you have an external hard drive like this and you have only a PC, the best file system right now to use is NTFS. That's the new, it's the new file transfer system basically is what they call it. It's called new, but I think it's from like 1993. Um, it's basically the newest one Windows has and that's one that's actually going to work really well with Windows machines and PCs. So NTFS is what you want to format this for if you have absolutely no Macs you're dealing with. Um, the problem is nowadays when you go to work and stuff, you might have a Mac there or someone else might have a Mac, one of your friends and you want to move files back and forth. So we'll get into that. But um, NTFS is good. Now, Macs can read NTFS, but they can't write to them. So just keep that in mind that you can actually read NTFS on a Mac, but you can't write to it. So if you want to write and read from one of these on both your Mac and your PC, that's not the best file format. Um, it doesn't have any limitations on file size right now that, I mean, they do, but it's so big that you don't have to worry about it. But at the end of the day, that's not the one we need. All right, so if you have a Mac only like I do behind me, and that's all you're ever going to use it for, there's a couple different ways you can go about doing it, what, what you actually want to format this for. One of them is going to be um, HFS Plus, which is basically going to be, you know, you'll see it more like Mac OS journaled, and that's going to be the more common one. And uh, so that's going to be something that you can actually, you just can't write to NTFS on that. So again, you're not going to, you're going to miss that interchangeability if you, if you do format NTFS. So you want to do, you know, again, Mac OS journaled is going to be really HFS Plus. It's their interchangeable terms there. It's a little unusual, I know, but that's actually what they are. So that's one way you want to do it. Now that's usually, that's an, a little bit older file system for the Mac. And uh, if you have spinning drives on a Mac, like if you're still like on a 5400 drive or you plug in an external spinning drive, when I say spinning, I mean non-SSD. So if you have a non-SSD drive, HFS Plus or Mac OS Journal is usually the best one to format these two. And again, that's only if you're going to be using it only on a Mac. So we're going to keep progressing here. We're going to finally get to one that shows you how to use it on both. All right, so now let's, this is the third file system we're going to cover. So if you have a Mac only again, and you're not going to be going back and forth between a PC and a Mac, there's a new file format, format called APFS. And uh, that's going to be the Apple, basically the Apple file system is what they call it. They're primarily made for the newer Apples that actually, or again, if you, as long as you have an SSD drive or some kind of a flash drive, it's a good file system for it. So APFS is another one from the drop down list. So you're going to see Mac OS journaled, which is going to be kind of for the older spinning drives if you have a spinning drive connected to it. And then you have APFS, which is going to be for more SSDs. And so APFS is really only good for newer, like spinning drive Macs, like I said. I think it's high CR or later is what you want to stay on, APFS. So if you have high Sierra or later, you want to do APFS on your formatting, especially if you have external SSDs. If anything older than that, just stick with, you know, Mac OS Journal, the H, H, you know, FS Plus. That'll actually be fine, the one I talked about before. All right, so now we're going to get into one file format that actually is compatible on both, but it's got some major problems. And you guys have probably heard about this before. It goes way back to before, like Windows 95. It's FAT32. So FAT32 is, is it's basically a very generic file system, and it should work on both a Mac 
and on, on a PC, the problem is, is it's number one, just a really old file system with a lot of flaws to it. But the biggest flaw in general is going to be there's only a four gigabyte file limit on it. So you can only transfer files that are four gigabytes or larger or smaller. I'm sorry, smaller, smaller than four gigabytes. So if you have a video or if you have, you know, you burn a movie or something, you're out of luck. So FAT32, while it works on both, if you knew you were only going to be copying tiny, tiny little files, you might want to can, you know, do something in that. But realistically, I would stay away from that because there's a better option. All right, so the winner is if you're actually trying to do, plug this into my Mac, copy a file, maybe restore some files, copy it into a PC, do the same, restore, copy, then there's gonna be this, this file system and it's basically the kind of a marriage of NTFS and FAT32 and it's called XFAT, so XFAT is the name of it. And the big limitation is so it's compatible on both and it actually will not uh, have the file limitations like uh, FAT32 does, so you don't have a four gigabyte file limit limitation. There's some limitations, but they're so high you don't have to worry about them right now. So again, X, XFAT is the one you wanna choose. So again, when we go through this, I'll show you here in a second exactly you know when you go ahead on a Mac and how you actually will go ahead and erase this and do a reformatting of it, but you want to pick XFAT and that's the way you want to do it for this. Now, when you're dealing with internal hard drives and stuff like that, there's a whole other kind of thing you want to go through. It's, it's very similar, obviously, but there's some, some things that you want to consider before you do that. Obviously, you don't want you can't put NTFS on this and, and some other things, but we'll get into that later. I'm talking about external drives for this one. So at the end of the day, that's the, the file system that you want to use on this is XFAT. All right, so I hope it all helped everyone. Again, I do a lot of stuff on all these different types of hard drives. As you can see, I have about 20 or 30 of them, um, and I always am formatting them. And I, you know, I usually use them only on a PC or only a Mac, but then I got so many different computers and I'm sold so many different computers that I ended up having to go in between different types of systems. And I think a lot of people out there are in the same boat. They have either a PC or a cheaper computer and then they might have a more expensive Mac and stuff. And so you want to be able to interchange that and that's really the way you do it is with XFAT. Now again, there's other ways, there's software programs out there that are built, you know, things are built in where they can convert file systems. I tend to stay away from that if I can, only because it's something that I just think this is the easiest way to do it. You know, if you're going to get a new new drive like this, you just plug it in and you'll format it right away as XFAT and then it should work in both systems. Again, XFAT, very, very old systems, it may not work because it's kind of an, <clears throat> an upgrade to FAT32, but XFAT is, is, you know, I think in the last 10 years or so, you should be pretty safe on systems. So give it a try, let me know what you think, but it should be interchangeable. Obviously, you can always, if it's not, you can always, you know, email files over or do something temporarily, but or put them up on the cloud and then copy them back to your other computer, which is what a lot of people do right now. At the end of the day though, I just wanted to try to help people. This is what I'm talking about, the, all these different drives here. You gotta know how to format them before you actually get into uh, saving data on them. So if you guys can support my channel, it would really help me out. Again, I make videos on a whole bunch of different things and a lot of Apple, a lot of PC. Talk to you soon, make a couple a week. Peace.